Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial shows a simple way to create a ceiling with recessed light fixtures. I have a small room done in 3ds Max and I'm using V-Ray as renderer. The lights have been already placed just where I want them. All I need now is a ceiling with round openings so I can place some recessed fixtures. In this case, I have a step-up ceiling where I will place lights at different levels. Create your ceiling using a plane and convert it to an editable poly. You may adjust its size to cover the entire room. In this case, I'm selecting this edge and extended the ceiling to cover the room area. Once that's finished, I will add horizontal and vertical lines over each light on the ceiling. Using Connect, add lines to cross over the lights. Here I need about six, one for each row. Move the lines over the lights. Do the same for the vertical row of lights or the columns in this case. Again, move the lines over the lights so they, uh, they cross over with the uh, horizontal lines. I need to correct this line because uh, this is the edge of my ceiling. I need to add another line for the light. Okay, now before I start, um, let me hide everything except the ceiling and the lights so we can see what we're doing. You can see in this page here that uh, some of these recess lights come in different sizes, uh, all the way from, from one and a half inches to eight inches and some of them are maybe even larger but this one happens to be five or six inches in diameter. The specification shows the materials and the color and the right the opening size. I need to place a small three inch square nearby here so I can use it for reference. These will be uh, like my three inch recess lights. Select in edit mode the grid of your ceiling, select the vertex over the light and use chamfer. Adjust the chamfer size, in this case just slightly bigger than the square I made. Apply and then re reapply again another chamfer to the same spots. You can do this once more by selecting only the, the vertices you need and apply chamfer again. 
size it so that it makes a nice circle. Sometimes the lines end up being too close to each other to in and interfere with the, uh, some of the lights, so you can move these simply in edit mode to avoid them being too close. As long as you have a clean crossover over the lights, um, this will work for you. Now you can select all the lights of one size and apply chamfer um, to all of them at the same time, just the way we did it before. If you're not making perfect circles, this is a very good uh, and easy way to do this. Now select all the uh, polygons we create we created and uh, you can apply extrude and uh, adjust its height. In many cases these measure about six to eight inches. Let me render the image, and as you can see, the recess light areas are ready. From this distance, you can't tell whether they are perfect circles or not, but they, they look very good. And the lights are inside. Let's add a trim, or a, what they call it, a diffuser, around each one of the openings. Use a line to create a profile of the diffuser. Before I, I use lathe, I will move the pivot to the center of the fixture. Select hierarchy and select affect pivot only. Then just uh, move the arrows to the center of the opening. Now you can apply lathe modifier to the line. Add a uh, semi-gloss material to the rings or to the diffusers we just made. When you're done, you can make copies and edit their sizes for the other light fixtures. I will change the color of the diffuser so they are more noticeable when we render it. Now when you render, you can see the effect of the finished uh, recess light. These two images show the camera render versus the perspective view. You notice how bright the lights are in the perspective view. Your camera settings will need to be corrected if you have this case and you need to add more light into the scene. You may open the f-stop uh, or the shutter speed and change the film speed and make you know tweak some of these uh, parameters so you can have a better lighting uh, to the camera.
this TV set is too bright. I will adjust its brightness and re-render using region rendering. On the V-Ray uh, frame buffer, select region and then re-render. I hope this uh, will help you create some nice ceilings with recess lights. Thank you.